Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we are here visiting the Satanic Temple here in Salem, Massachusetts. You heard that right you guys, today we are visiting the famous or infamous, depending on what you think about it, satanic temple here in Salem. The goal for today's video is simple, to tell you more about this place and to show you around so that you know what to expect if you choose to visit. So if that interests you, come with me. Wow, wow, wow. So there it is, you guys, in all its dark and spooky glory. When planning my visit here to Boston slash Salem, this was for sure one of the locations that I wanted to visit. I first learned about this place in a documentary titled Hell Satan? Question mark, where they talk about what the organization stands for and also what they've been up to ever since its creation. I recommend that you check out that documentary as well as their website if you want to learn more about them as well. In their website, the organization lays out who they are, what they do, along with their guiding principles. Anyways, I'll let you look into that yourself. And as with any religious club or organization, the Satanic Temple has multiple congregations slash offices around the US. But today, we are here visiting the quote unquote headquarters. I am so excited you guys, I cannot wait to go in and show you inside. But first, I would like to share my first impressions on this place. All right, you guys, so let's talk about first impressions. First of all, their building is located here in the city of Salem. Coincidence? I think not. Salem, Massachusetts is a very historical city here in the United States. It is usually known for the horrific witch trials that happened in this town, which were motivated by religious beliefs, which showed how far religion or ideology can go if unchecked. I think there's a lot of symbolism there, which aligns with some of the organization's principles. Secondly, their building is painted black. I don't know if it's easy to tell in this light situation, but it's black because what other color would the satanic temple be? <laughs> now, this place is not hidden at all. In fact, the way it's painted and its location, it would seem to me that they want to be noticed. For reference, we are only about an 18 minute walk away from Salem's downtown right here, which we will explore in a future video, so stay tuned for that. Not only is it super close to downtown, it is only three blocks away from the nearest church and a 20 minute walk away from the first church founded here in Salem. If we come closer, you can see right there that it was founded on 1629. That is fascinating to me and I also can't even imagine the tension that must be felt by members of the satanic temple as well as members of the community here in Salem who maybe don't understand what the organization stands for or who maybe do understand what they stand for but are against it. That is definitely stressful to think about. Alright you guys, I think it's about time for us to head inside. I didn't mention it before, but the Satanic Temple is also home to the Salem Art Gallery, which you can buy tickets to experience. I believe they are open from Tuesday to Sunday, but check their website for the correct information. 
Today's actually Sunday, so some people might just be coming out of church right now, but we are about to head into the Satanic Temple. So let's go. So I have made it to the first room here at the temple. As you can see, this seems to be an exhibit of some kind. Let me get more information for you. So as you can see here in this room, they have information on what the exhibit is all about. I think this one is about the female body and also about succubus, which you can look that for yourself, but I think they're like forms of female demons or something. So let's take a look at what they are exhibiting. Okay, so they have pieces like that one right there. And like, whoa, that one sure is a little bit creepy these people right here seem to be having a dance a dark dance if you would that right there is a castle with lightning in the background and over here we have some sort of like mirror with an altar of some kind that to me seems like a demonic symbol or something and uh, another picture right there of a succubus or the representation of a succubus, I should say. In their website, they mention how they exhibit pieces from artists from all around the world. This section right here, this exhibit, I'm guessing is from one of those artists. As you can see, it is fairly small. It's a small room, but I think it's really cool how they try to support artists in this way. I think it's time for us to head over to the next room. Let's check it out. Along with exhibits like those we saw in the other room, there are also more interactive pieces just like this one where you can sit down and pretend you're like in a throne or something. But check this out. See that right there, you guys? That is one of the pieces that I really wanted to show you. This right here, you guys, is a statue of Baphomet. I am no expert, but from what I've seen online, Baphomet is usually mistaken for a demon or the devil himself. And I mean, you can easily see why. Baphomet is actually a pagan deity or idol who was originally worshipped by the Knights Templar. Nowadays, it has been embraced by multiple groups, including the Satanic Temple. This specific statue of Baphomet is actually famous as it came out in the documentary that I mentioned earlier in this video. For sure, this is one of the most quote-unquote shocking pieces that they have included here. I mean, I could remember back in the day when I was religious, if I had seen an image like this, with a demon or devil figure alongside two small kids, that would have blown my freaking mind. Speaking about blowing my mind back in the day, this sculpture would have done the same. This, I can only assume, is like a Baphomet in baby form, or is it the Antichrist? I'm not entirely sure, but as you can see, it does look a little bit creepy and before we leave you guys i wanted to show you this last statue sculpture i don't know what to call it but what i do know is that it was dedicated to the u.s army you can see the upside down star which is usually a symbol of satanism or occultism and at the top you can see a military helmet They also do have a gift shop, so if you're looking for a souvenir, make sure to check it out. And just like that, you guys, our visit here to the Satanic Temple in Salem, Massachusetts has come to an end. So what did you guys think? Would you visit this place if you had the chance? Let me know down in the comments below. 
And with that, you guys, we have made it to the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna check out more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. And always remember to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.